Okay, we're now going to look at another number. In standard form, you see the numerals 2, 6, 1, comma, 5, 5, 8. If we think about place value and expanded form, we have a 2 in the 100,000, so that is 200,000. We have a 6 in the 10,000, so that is 60,000. We have a 1 in the thousands for 1,000. We have a 5 in the hundreds. For 500, a 5 in the tens for 50, and 8 ones for 8. So the way we read that word in word form is 261,558. Okay, we're going to look at one more. This one, boys and girls, is going all the way into the millions. So we have in standard form 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If we split those place values apart into expanded form, we have a 1 in the millions place for 1 million. We have a 2 in the hundred thousands for 200,000. A 3 in the ten thousands for 30,000. A 4 in the thousands for 4,000. A 5 in the hundreds for 500. 6 in the tens for 60 and 7 ones and all together in word form we read that number 1,234,567 and I just realized I put a number two instead of the word two so that is my mistake I will fix it because we should see only words in word form okay you guys are going to get a chance to practice this now so remember, active engagement is where you now have a turn to participate. You've been listening and thinking through the mini lesson. Now it's your turn to try what we just taught you. Okay, so you're going to do this on your own. You could have a whiteboard. And I know I forgot to mention this to my students. Your teachers may have told you, but in your student bin, your learning bin that you picked up from school last week, there is a piece of white, thick paper, cardstock paper, in a plastic sheet or a plastic sleeve that is for you to use as a dry erase board so that would be great to use during um math you can write your answers you can hold them up to the camera when your teacher's live and then you can just erase it right off when you're done um okay we'll have try to have some discussion with a partner um or just sharing out okay here we go so how can we represent the number two seven comma five six seven in word form and expanded form so we were going to pause our video so that you can practice this and your teacher can model it for you as well okay so now we're going to try another one now we have how can we write the number two hundred thirty one thousand 629 in expanded form and standard form and for some reason that two is really causing me trouble i put another number in there i should switch that to the word two for 231,000. so your teacher now can pause to give you a chance to practice and to model it for you okay great job friends now you're going to practice independently in your math book that is in the same learning bin that your dry erase um, board is also. You're going to work on pages 11 and 12, and your teacher may continue on live with you while you do this. Um, you could turn your cameras off and mute yourselves while you work, and then you can pop back on um, to ask your teacher if you have any questions. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about place value and different number forms today. We're going to continue this again tomorrow, and then we're going to start comparing numbers. So really be sure you think about the value of the digits and the place that they're in that tells you their value. All right? Have a great day, guys. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.